Our special guest today is Joe Newsom. Joe, good morning. Thank you, Steve. It's dark 30 out. Thank good you. Morning, Joe. <laughs> Thank you for yeah. joining us. You know, Joe, as we talked earlier on the on the show, uh, people first of the year said, okay, I'm going to lose weight, I'm going to mm -hmm. read more books, I'm going to go back to school, get another degree, I'm going to do this, this, this. And sometimes they don't talk about maybe saving more money. And with your expertise and your background is in financial planning, what is your recommendation here in January? How do we get going to, to save money? Well, the first thing you need to do is if you're in a company retirement plan, find out if your company has a match. Okay. If they match 3%, for example, uh, then you need to definitely contribute that 3% out of your own pay mm -hmm. because you get a 100% rate of return if the company matches your $100 contribution with $100 from them. So it makes no sense for you to contribute less than what the match is. Uh, that's the first thing. You, you definitely but, but need to do that. But what if I'm not, excuse me, what if, <coughs> excuse me, what if, uh, <coughs> what if I'm not, <coughs> I need to do that. Excuse if you're me. not in a company yes. retirement plan. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Save me. Uh, <coughs> then you can set up a, IRA, a traditional okay. IRA or a Roth IRA. If you're under 50, you can contribute up to a maximum of $416 a month mm -hmm. or $5,000 a year. Any amount up to that. Now, if you're over 50, you can contribute $6,000 or $500 a month to a Roth or a traditional IRA. Definitely encourage you to do, do one of those items and begin as soon as possible. As you can see, I, I get choked up when I talk about <laughs> money. So. Now, Joe, what about if you're just starting, you're thinking about saving money, um, and you decide a New Year resolution, this is what I'm going to do, what's a good amount to begin to put away? Well, of course, that's going to depend upon everyone's individual situation. But the okay. first thing you need to do is to uh, put away a, a, an amount we call a comfort account. That's cash in case <clears throat> you need new tires on your car. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't want that money to be in your retirement account. So you've got to have some cash on hand. Uh, don't make spectacular rates of returns on that because that's there for a spatial purpose and that is as a comfort account uh, 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 in case uh, one needs that. Okay. And uh, now, <clears throat> the amount, uh, the, one of the scariest things for anyone is when they draw their last paycheck right before they go <laughs> off for retirement. No longer do they have that safety net of that monthly paycheck coming in. You're on your own. Wow. It's just you and Social Security. And I had no customers that I can remember ever live totally on their Social Security check. Wow. Our special guest on Good Morning Nina today is, is Joe Newsom. Joe, again, we appreciate you being here and sharing some financial tips for us. Uh, for that family that has just the, the one child, uh, let's say the child is five years old and they just have, it's, it's a three-person family, if you will, and they're thinking ahead, they're proactive, they're thinking, okay, we need to provide a way for this child to go to Oklahoma State, OU, or wherever it is. What's the recommendation this early in, in their lives to save money for the child's education? Well, uh, if they would go by their local financial advisor, they can, the financial advisor can do a printout and show what it will cost approximately to go to Oklahoma State University when the child becomes of college age. So and that then, can be de depressing, right? <laughs> when you see, when no, you see that no, picture. I guarantee it is depressing. <laughs> <laughs> However, if the child's only five years old, they will be able to show you how much you need to to save on a monthly or annual basis to meet that goal of uh, having a certain amount available by age 18. 
And most people save in what's called a 529 college savings plan. There's some definite tax advantages mm -hmm. to that. And by far, that is, has been the most advantageous way for people to save. Mm -hmm. I, I, I know Jamar's got another question for you, but let me interrupt here real quick. We just talked about the, you know, the, the child, the son or daughter that was thinking of going to Oklahoma State and a family can do that. But how about for grandkids? Is there something that comes to mind, Joe, as a financial recommendation that, okay, the family is taking care of their son and daughter, but here's grand, the grandfather and he's thinking of a grandson. Is there some, something special you recommend that uh, grandparents do? Well, you're talking to a grandfather <laughs> who had three grandchildren. So you got wealth and, of experience. Well, then. and what we did is uh, we talked the talk, and that okay. is we did the same thing because grandparents can set up a 529 plan okay. for their grandchildren and uh, save uh, money just like the parents can. Very and uh, Or the, the grandparents can contribute into that 529 plan that the parents had set up for their children. Very good. Now, Joe, uh, talking about savings again and what's the, the best age to begin to do that, what should you be doing if you're in your 30s or your 40s, for example, about savings? Because in your 20s, I mean, people are out of college and probably Broke? <laughs> Broke, yeah, they don't have the mentality of saving. But by the time they're 30, it hits, you know, that well, I should be saving money. <laughs> Tamara, people go through four different phases in their lifetime when it comes to uh, financial matters. First of all is your good savings years, mm -hmm. or your early savings years, then your good savings years, and then your high income savings year, okay. and then retirement. And as you go through these different four phases, your portfolio needs to change and adapt to that. And yes, there will be certain phases when you won't have hardly any money to put away for savings. But then there will be money, there will be certain times when you'll have uh, more access mm -hmm. to dollars. And uh, the, the big thing is that, that when I came here into Enid 36 years ago, CD rates were 16%. Today they're a half of 1%. Money market wow. rates were 21%. Yeah. Today, they're one-tenth of 1%. But the Dow Jones Industrial Average, when I came here, was 1,000. Today, it's 20,000. The problem is that in, if you invest in the market, in equities, like the Dow Jones, 30 stocks, you've got to take highs and lows. Mm -hmm. There's been five times when the market has, has gone down by 20% or more during that 36 year period. But it has still, over the long pull, gone up 20 times. So for people in their 30s and 40s, long term, mm -hmm. you can tell the best way to save is to be an owner of securities and to get long term results and be very patient. Okay. Joe, we got 30 seconds. <laughs> Sorry to put you under pressure here, but uh, someone's on the fence. They know they need to start saving money in 30 seconds or less. What would you say to that person? They know they need to save money, but they haven't quite got there. Well, it's called discipline, Steve, and everybody has to have discipline in their lives. And, yeah. and it's, it's very easy to say, no, I, I, I don't want to save. I want to buy that new truck for $54,000 or that new motorcycle. Well, those are depreciable assets. Like I say, don't be one of the people that, or three out of four people that are scared to death the day they get their last paycheck yeah. and now they're on their own. Be prepared for that day because it's going to come yeah. and then you're on your own. <laughs> Thank you for that encouraging word that that day's going to come. <laughs> Thank okay. you, Joe. Joe Newsom, our special guest on Good Morning Nina today. Joe, again, thank you for your time. Thank you, uh, we'd, we'd like we for you to come back. Can you come back yeah. and talk to us again? This was good. Well, sure. Maybe? Keep the coffee on. Okay, we, we yeah. can do that.